module, we will learn about lines and angles. Let us first learn about pairs of angles, complementary angles. In the on-screen figure 1, angle B and angle E add up to 90 degree. Similarly, in figure 2, angle ABC and angle DBC add up to 90 degree. Thus, if the sum of two angles is 90 degree, the angles are said to be complementary angles and each angle is said to be the complement of the other. For example, angles 30 degree and 60 degree are complementary. The complement of 40 degree is 90 degree minus 40 degree or 50 degree. Next is supplementary angles. Here, in the first figure, angle B and angle E add up to 180 degree. Similarly, in the second figure, angle ABC and angle DBC add up to 180 degree. Thus, if the sum of two angles is 180 degree, the angles are said to be supplementary angles and each angle is called the supplement of the other. Angles 60 degree and 120 degree are supplementary. Angles 40 degree and 140 degree are supplementary. The supplement of 60 degree is 180 degree minus 60 degree or 120 degree. Adjacent angles. Two angles are called adjacent angles if they have a common vertex, they have a common arm, the other arms are on opposite sides of the common arm. In the on-screen figure, angle AOB and angle BOC are adjacent angles as they have a common vertex O and a common arm OB between the other two arms. Linear pair. A pair of adjacent angles is called a linear pair if their outer arms are in a straight line. Angle ADC and angle BDC form linear pair since their non-common arms DA and DB are opposite rays. Also, angle ADC plus angle BDC is equal to Angle ADB is equal to 180 degree. The angles in a linear pair are supplementary. Vertically opposite angles. In the given on-screen figure, two lines AB and CD intersect each other at O, forming angle 1, angle 2, angle 3 and angle 4. Angle 1 and angle 2 form a linear pair. Similarly, angle 2 and angle 3, angle 3 and angle 4, angle 4 and angle 1 form linear pairs. But, angle 1 and angle 3 do not have a common arm and so do not form a linear pair. Two angles formed by two intersecting lines having no common arm are called vertically opposite angles. In this figure, angle 1 and angle 3 is a pair of vertically opposite angles. Similarly, angle 2 and angle 4 form a pair of vertically opposite angles. By measuring them, we can verify that angle 1 is equal to angle 3 and angle 2 is equal to angle 4. Thus, we can say that vertically opposite angles are equal. We can prove this fact as follows. In the figure, angle 1 and angle 4 form a linear pair. Therefore, angle 1 plus angle 4 is equal to 180 degree. Similarly, angle 2 and angle 1 form a linear pair. Angle 2 plus angle 1 is equal to 180 degree. Now, from 1 and 2 we get angle 1 plus angle 4 is equal to 
angle 2 plus angle 1. Hence, angle 4 is equal to angle 2. Similarly, we can show that angle 1 is equal to angle 3. Let us find the measurement of two complementary angles such that one is double the other. For this, we suppose one angle is x degree, then the other would be 2x degree. Since they are complementary, so x degree plus 2x degree is equal to 90 degree or 3x degree is equal to 90 degree, which gives us x degree is equal to 30 degree. That is, one angle is 30 degree and the other is 60 degree. Let us find the measurement of angle 2, angle 3 and angle 4 when angle 1 is equal to 32 degree in the given figure on screen. Since angle 1 and angle 2 are vertically opposite angles, so angle 2 is equal to angle 1. But angle 1 is equal to 32 degree. So angle 2 is also equal to 32 degree. Again, angle 1 and angle 3 form a linear pair. So angle 1 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree. Therefore, angle 3 is equal to 180 degree minus 32 degree is equal to 148 degree. Again, angle 3 and angle 4 are vertically opposite angles. So, angle 4 is equal to angle 3 is equal to 148 degree. Let us now learn what a transversal is. A line which cuts two or more given lines at different points is called a transversal. In the given figure, transversal PQ cuts two lines AB and CD at points L and M respectively and the transversal PQ cuts three lines AB, CD and EF at points L, M and N respectively. 